you. What's <laughs> Randy? Woo! I can't speak today. <laughs> From Pretty Little Liars. Yay! What's it like working on Pretty Little Liars? It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Everybody's really cool. And because it's a young show, everybody's very laid back. Yeah? Yeah. I think it's about time now. It's been like five seasons already. Four seasons. Four seasons. <laughs> it's going to be five. Who's A? Please tell, tell us. us. <laughs> oh, well, that's easy. A is... <laughs> Are you A? <sighs> Can't say. <laughs> I'd get in Sneaky. trouble. Yeah. <laughs> How hard was it to not laugh when Aria said, Mona is the devil? Well... It was funny because I didn't expect her to say it the way she did, so she kind of, uh, she surprised me and I like that. Um, she's so good, she's such a wonderful actress. And uh, I, I don't know that much about Mona's character because I was new coming into the show, yeah. but she seems so convincing and, uh, that I believed her when she said it. So, uh, you know, but it was funny, it was fun. So have you watched all the previous um, seasons of Pretty Little Lies? Or? I did some research on the show, but I didn't want to know too much. Since I was playing the new guidance counselor, Jesse, the new guy in town, I kind of wanted to not, you know, um, do uh, too much research and know too much. I kind of wanted to keep it fresh, you know. Hmm. Yeah. Are you a method actor? Well, I'm, I come from the theater, so I suppose I'm a classically trained actor who definitely has somewhat of a method background, but I don't rely on that. I, I kind of... Uh, trust technique as well, if that makes sense. And other than Pretty Little Liars, can you tell our viewers what you've been doing lately? Well, I, uh, I actually just finished a western down in Austin, Texas called Deliverance Creek. It's uh, the Nicholas Sparks new show for Lifetime and Warner Horizon produced it. So I'm very excited about that. It's a western during the Civil War and I play uh, one of the leads. He's the sheriff in the town and uh, the love interest to the uh, lovely Lauren Ambrose. Wow, that's so cool. Congratulations. That's so awesome. Yeah, it'll be on this spring. We don't actually have a, a date, an air date yet, but oh, pretty okay. soon, so stay tuned, you know? And oh. our audience would love to know who you think should get the golden bad boy this year. The golden what? Bad boy. The golden bad boy. Oscar, yeah. Hmm. You mean for which category? Yes. For which one? Like uh, best... Uh, for which category? Well, yes. <laughs> I would say that for best actress it should be Kate Blanchett for the Woody Allen film Blue Jasmine she was one of my favorites hands down yeah she was really good yeah. I haven't seen the movie yet but I saw the commercial and really good I understand <laughs> like kind of rated R and you girls stuff. are great at this you're so thank good at you. this oh, yeah. thank you interview. thanks <laughs> thanks have you girls been doing this a long time yeah, yeah. Two and a half years, yep. Such a little pros. Very impressed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Impressed. What do you think about the sweets today? Oh, it's fun. This yeah. is always fun, yeah. What's they been your favorite job. venue? Uh, well, this is actually the first one for me this year. So I'm going to do oh. a couple more uh, in the next couple days, and uh, then I'll come back here and uh, I'll report to you. I'll give you a full report on which All was right. my favorite. All right. <laughs> Sound good? Stay tuned. All right, stay tuned. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much, you so much for your interview. You're, you're welcome. So great. And, you're and you're on Pretty Little Lars. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cool. 3D printed. Golden, Golden bad boy. Bad boy. Look yeah. at this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 3D Thank printed. you. Thanks, girls. Bye.